Dear friends, welcome to the fourth episode of the Dune School Rafting Expedition. In last episode, we had visited Fuktal Monastery, which is the most respected and uh, I mean grand monastery of this area which has been playing a great role in developing in helping the people of this area we have learned that river after some time is again going to throw many challenges first one two kilometers were hardly having any challenge So, uh, and uh, after that, four or five kilometers of river full of uh, constrictions, rapids, rocks in between, holes. So, we plan not to take unnecessary risk with the children. So, let's do potage. And with the help of the locals, we had shifted every stuff for hours closer to Purne. We had shifted almost every stuff and the rafts are getting ready. Partho planned to run this part of the river even through his kayak. He has almost done it. On the final leg, there was a big rapid with the hole close by. Partho got stuck in the hole, tried hard, couldn't get off it, and uh, <coughs> finally planned to leave kayak and again catch it and start his journey. But destiny has planned something different. Current of the river was so fast that Kyak went off. Rajiv planned quickly to start rafting and try to catch Kayak, which couldn't. After Purne, the river was a white water rafting involved. Big waves. Now we were without Kayak, without the guide indirectly. And the, the gorge was narrow, but not that narrow, that which can create any serious problem. Around six o'clock, we could find a village not very far, that was Itcher. And closer to this Itcher village, there was a wooden bridge on the river. And closer to the wooden bridge, we found a place to camp. We decided, now we can't do anything about kayak. We have to be very, very cautious. We camped there. We left everything for tomorrow now. Towards west, some of the peaks, the Nunkun peaks, were beautifully, uh, you know, they had the golden rays, uh, evening golden rays on them. Again now, we inspected the river, every corner of it and found after six, seven kilometers, there is a big rapid, Raru rapid, which is almost a fall of uh, 10 to 12 feet. And right in the middle, in front of that fall, huge rocks. And then the rapids and rapids, no possibility of crossing it physically. Now we have to, you know, shift every stuff of ours on the other side of this Raru Rapid. R.P. Gomez, they had gone to the villagers so that we can take assistance from them. But all of them had gone for Padum because the protest was going on. The people had gathered at Padum to protest so that 
the roads, the facilities in these areas which are desired for the people should be brought in. So we couldn't get anyone. And uh, last uh, <coughs> 200 meters, we had to take our stuff on the other side of the rapid. It took a lot of time, heavy stuff, but slowly we managed it. <coughs> Closer to the rapid, on the left side of the rock, there were screes, stones, which we slowly passed. And uh, after the rapid, there was a camping spot right closer to the bank. We rested there, so tired that it's not possible to move right now. Things were postponed to tomorrow. That energy which used to be before with us, literally lost. Next day we got up a little late, assuming that uh, Padum is not very far. To, the lunch is going to be served there at Padum. We will have our enjoyment there. But what was destined, you can't say. We left this camp around 12 o'clock. For an hour, it was a decent uh, rafting not big rapids, but all of a sudden, around uh, one o'clock, we found uh, the river is roaring, oh God. And little after taking a turn towards north, a day out was possible, did it, started reading uh, the river, which carried on for almost more than two and a half hours and decided for the moment. First raft by Rajiv moved first. Somebody messed up. Either the command was late or the peddlers messed up. Somebody had messed up and right in the middle of the river there was a pour over which sucked a raft and right in front was huge rocks. Rajiv tried with his oar to protect it, not to hit with the rock. But now something is happening which was not in our control. We lost our paddles even, oars were broken and uh, then the raft went into a hole, tried hard, ultimately water was filling in the raft and after that there was a huge pour over the moment front part of the rapid of the raft you know bend down three of our members who were in front left side was uh, your Zafar he was in the left side of the river Shuchi was high siding in the middle she was in the main current of the river. I was on the right side, so I was in the right side of the river. I quickly managed to catch a raft. Zafar was a hard swimmer, so he caught the left eddy. Shuchi was in the main current. We were worried. But the best part, according to the system, she was moving as if she is sitting on a seat with the safety measures, helmet on and a safety jacket even on. We were worried, but uh, you know, second raft started, uh, which was guided by Shokat, followed the right track through the right side of the river he managed to skip all those rapids and reached quite uh, ahead when he had seen three members went into the river. Thank you very much for listening, participating and enjoying this expedition. Look after yourself. Thank you very much.